no chance at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me edit this. Oh, it's already started. Oh, oh, um. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jack Gray here, and we are back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And as you can see right here, he is, um, shooting people or, or whatever you do with guns. I'm not saying you. I might as well just be quiet. Is that a sniper? Or was that? Wow. They, the funny part is they didn't even see him approaching them. Like they just like they just saw him and then boom, they dead. But then he was trying to trash talk and he just got shredded. That's interesting because you know if no one follows you then why are we even in this battle you know there's more than three soldiers in the military like there's more than three people we, you know like you could have just called in the a helicopter right now where you are and you could have got out of there and nobody would have died So now, you know, now you're just forced to fight, you know, because it's so like, now they're just here. They could, they could have did anything. They could have, they could have fought. They could have anything, like literally anything. And what they decide to do is send three soldiers. Four, five, whatever. Three, four, whatever. I, I don't have time to count. Um, they decide to send those soldiers instead of see. It's not. This is this is this is the hard thing in games. It's better to fight one hard boss than five easy enemies or fifteen or whatever. My friend told me that. <laughs> Said he found it or figured it out. Because if you um if you fight that one boss, you get to just stare at him and that's it. Boom, he done. And then you can dodge his attacks. But if there's fifteen of that boss or fifteen of the lagoons, you surround it and you're gonna be like, Oh, there's one behind me. There's one right there. One boom 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 and you're already done. So, it's always better to fight one boss. Just remember, if you're ever fighting a boss and it's like, Oh my god, I can never defeat this dude. This dude is overpowered. It's better than fighting his goons. So. Yeah, that's not going to make it in the military. See, like, why can't the player do that? The bullet actually goes through the glass. Usually in some games, the glass would just look broken, but it's still there. Like, it would just look broken, but when you shoot at the empty space, it still, like, stops like there's still a window. But this game actually, it actually does that. Yeah, you probably just killed, like, 13 people with that one misfire. Wow. Are you aiming that gun at me? I can do the same thing. Mmm. Interesting. Hold on, do you hear that? If anybody knows what they're saying? Try to, like... Say, like, tell me what they're saying. <sighs> that was a total way. Maybe you should get going. All I know is they're going to be in for a shocking time once they leave this. <laughs> uh, 
even yeah. more of a shocking time. Definitely a shocking time. You should probably put it down where their feet would be because if you just put it up there, they're going to literally see it. That's like, that's like putting, that's like, let me explain. Oh, sorry. That's like throwing a bullet at a tank and expecting the tank to blow up on the first shot. I mean, I mean, if you see that, would you run into it thinking like it's going to just shoot out gold? That wouldn't be better either way because the goat would just shoot out at you. Oh, look at this. Does he shoot out goat? So, I just want to make sense. Go on, jump. Good, good. Me and this dude know what's going on. You hearing things already? That itchy finger of yours is infecting your ears. My ears are just fine. Shut up. I hear it too. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Contact, contact. Hey, look. How can how come the other people can jump up there, but exactly? Like your teammates could have the most overpowered abilities, but when you get those abilities, you finally realize how weak they are. Um, but when your teammate uses them, oh my! Like. When your teammate uses the abilities, they all dead. They, this dude dead. This dude dead. This dude dead. This dude. Dead. But when you use the abilities, the enemies don't even flinch. All they do is, ooh, heartburn. And they, and then that's it. They put, they barely flinched. I said they don't even flinch. They probably barely flinched. That'd be an amazing idea, but like, if we could just like, get in this vehicle, like, you would think they'd be like, oh, that's just a friendly trying to stop, that's just a friendly convoy vehicle I got the wheel. trying to go the and, like, get the enemy from escaping or something, but no, let's go in the ABC where they can see a Winslow Accord Cyber Soldier, yeah. Why can't I sit down up here Get with on. the cannons? Short on time. Like. The exfil window is closing. Get in. Wait. Oh. I actually can bust through the door. I never. Oh. I never saw them do that before. Oh. Wow. Hmm. He what happened? In the van. Taylor. He was in the APC. Oh. How did he die? But if I don't even see the minister, why does the minister even go? I don't even see him. I don't even see the the minister. That means the bullet would have had to dodge all of these dudes. Fly through there, go in there, up there, down there. Ouch! I'll explain once I respawn. In games, I don't understand, right? Multiple people can just be getting shot. Your teammates, brrr, but when you get shot once on veteran difficulty, boom, you dead. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. It went through there. Hendrix. Or it went like. To the hmm. we'll go back the More robots. Or Hendrix got shot by that giant RPG that you like, deflected. And why don't the robots just do that? The robots could have did what they did to that door, to the door over there. What? I'm sorry, I need to search for. I knew it. I knew it. Veto panel. Come on. Run. <laughs> you gotta go. I'm on the APC. I'm on the APC. Ha ha. Imagine he fails the mission. Hendrix probably got shot last time, or one of the goons back there. You still? Yeah, keep on shooting. While I inspect these diamonds, make sure they're real. 
You know how it is. You gotta get your diamonds. You gotta inspect them. Make sure that you're not scammed. These are dirty. I need to clean these off. ABC? Wow. Well, how did they get destroyed that fast? Wow. How did that veto get destroyed? Oh my god, that is the most beautiful sight. How does that veto that has been repaired, but that veto that that's been in the sky more still got destroyed when he opened the grunts opened the door for us? Mm-mm, not a good job. Yeah, it might not be the vehicle dying. Maybe be us, but you know, you crash and the vehicle turns off, not on. What a world! What world does APCs turn off when you crash? Look at that! How did that thing that get not get destroyed on the first few bullets? The other one just blew up. You didn't even shoot it and it blew up. Is that a trophy to destroy all these towers? Hmm. Oh, I deflected a rocket. Well, she did, but he deflected a rocket in a cutscene. Um. The sights in this game. This is. My favorite mission has to be the um the mission I use the most like just to j do the mission like the mission I play the most is definitely the one mission where you're sneaking in or well, not sneaking technically but you got like the little like rocket shooter and you're like fighting the 54 immortals and stuff that's my favorite mission I'll show you that later You see, you know what I don't, you know what I don't understand? Why does it take 13 minutes to, all they need to do is get me in there, put me near the door, and I'll deflect all the missiles. The bullets ain't gonna attack that thing and destroy it. So... How? Alright guys, I think we're going to end this video off for 80th like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace and thanks for watching. I don't even know. Oh, this is a perfect thumbnail, but I'm probably not going to be.